know, I woke up one day and I had a real severe pain in my stomach and it was just a lot of nausea, all kinds of things. That, that, it wasn't normal, because I've had nausea before and, you know, mm -hmm. stomach cramps, but this is severe. And I didn't know what it was, so I decided I had to go to the hospital. And I'm reluctant to do that ever, but I knew I better go. So I just went to the hospital and they uh, ran a few tests and they didn't find anything wrong. They couldn't tell what was wrong with me. And they checked my, my heart, my lungs, everything. And I didn't understand why they were checking all this stuff. I said, it's my stomach, <laughs> it was my side. And, uh, but they couldn't come up with anything that was wrong. So they started checking my blood and, and running blood tests and everything. And it, after going to a few different um, uh, locations for random tests, I'd say about a month or two later, they finally contacted me and said that it appeared to be uh, moderate kidney disease. And that that kind of blindsided me because I had no idea how that could happen. I asked them, well, how could that happen? And they said, well, they don't know. They're going to try to find out. Back around my, I'd say my early mid-40s, I started getting really winded. i do a bit of work that I normally do, and I'm exhausted. I could, I could barely catch my breath. And uh, I'm, I'm thinking back, and... Uh, a lot of these were the symptoms that I was having, but a lot more severe mm -hmm. now because I was having this big problem with shortness of breath. And uh, they said it, ha it relates to the problem with my kidneys. I'm not getting good hemoglobin uh, through my bloodstream and not getting enough oxygen and things like that. And now I'm realizing, uh, and they pretty much confirmed it, I probably had this problem way back then, maybe over 10 years ago, and I didn't pay attention to it because when it happened, I'm thinking, wow, I just kind of laughed. I said, I said, well, I'm getting old. <laughs> the same just drained, like someone just turned on a force and drained all my energy out of me and then shut it off and <laughs> left me empty. That's how I felt, pretty much. Okay. So uh, finally one day a doctor, a doctor called me from the hospital and said he just saw my labs and he said, told me to go directly to the hospital, to the emergency room. And he said, because he, he's going to tell them to start me on dialysis today, he said, my labs are really bad. And that, that was... 2016 March, I think it was March 14th is when I got my uh, got a catheter put in up here, and they put it into. And that day they started dialysis on me. That was my first treatment. And then two days later they they went and they did an operation on my arm, and put in what they call a fistula, and they cut my arm and they take a, a main artery and they connect that to one of my smaller veins that they can use for dialysis. I have no other option right now, so yeah, I'm going to do that. You know, if, uh, some days I feel better. Like today I'm feeling better today. Uh, so I'm not feeling so bad there. I still I still feel sick. When I say feel better, I, I feel sick all the time. But I feel well if I can walk around and do what I have to do. But we, there are, have been days that I go and I can't make it up the stairs, or I, there have been days I couldn't get out the car. My wife she's retired now, so ride with me, and she'll she'll help me out a lot. What happens if you don't get a kidney? Well, if I don't get a kidney, I stay on dialysis for now on, as long as I can. Um, the <clears throat> depending on how things go, it's, it, it's random. It, everybody's different. Some people live longer, some people, do, but it definitely shortens your life from what I understand. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, depending on how it affects you, I could live a little bit longer, I could live, some, I could run into a lot of complications, and, and my life is just kind of pretty short.